Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're going to be looking at Lost Ark and we're going to start off our series of guides for this game. Today we're going to start off with the tripods. Now if you do enjoy my content, remember to like the video. If you do want to see more Lost Ark guides and more survival gaming content, make sure to subscribe. And we do have a Patreon in the description if you'd like to support myself and the channel. Today we're going to be doing this guide on my gun lancer. This is my main character. I did start off with a paladin. Didn't like it. Moved on to Gun Lancer. Loved the class. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, tripods are basically a skill tree within Lost Ark. It's their own sort of version of the skill tree system. And to find out where these tripods are, you just left click on the character icon down at the bottom here and you click combat skills or you press K on the keyboard. It will bring up the actual whole list of all of your skills. Now, the skills is where you're going to be starting off. Now, you're going to want to find out what skills you want to use, what skills work with your builds or for what content. Not every single single build of a character will work in every single bit of content now i have devised a sort of pvpve so i don't have to switch a lot of the times if i'm just messing about i do have a build here that i can just sort of switch between both content without having to change anything if i'm just feeling like casually playing one day and i will eventually do a guide on my actual build which, which has got me through all the content up to 560 currently which is my character's item level right now is 560 i'm currently being bottlenecked by the harmony fragments at the moment they're actually just i need to do more of the islands and get get caught up and get up to 600 and then push over to the tier two which i will be doing this evening but anyway that's besides the point tripods now what tripods are is this games as i said earlier this game's a version of a skill tier system and it's called a tripod because you have one of three choices per level or tier of the skill that you are leveling up and you have three tiers of this leveling mechanic now you get the first one at level four we'll have a look over here so you have sharp gun lance for example we have the first one unlocks at skill level four now you do that by using the plus and minuses you can change these at any time any time in the game it's one of the main things i really like about the sort of skill system and how the tree system works you don't have to spend coins to sort of reset which is another button down here on the left hand side to reset the whole list of things on here you can just up and down them whenever you need to so the first one unlocks at four the second one unlocks at seven and the third one unlocks at 10. now you're going to want to have your main skills at level 10 anyway once you hit level 50 and you can get more and more skills uh, up to level 10 after you hit 50. You can just continue on with your XP. 51 gives you more. 52 up to level 60 or 70, I think it is actually, right now in the game. I was maining the Paladin at first, so I'm a little bit behind on the XP on this character when it comes to the level 50 stuff. But I will be getting there eventually. Now, the first tier has three choices. This is usually sort of changing the way that the skill actually works, whether you can make it an AoE, a cone aoe which is just like a sort of angle in front of you or just in front of the character it's usually comprised of like skill cooldowns see if we can find one over here like quick prep which will lower the cooldown by two seconds there'll be charges that are in there depending on the skill and it's sort of along the same lines across all characters especially when it comes to the first level of tripod now the second tier usually will add a sort of element to your attacks or it will add a certain status effect to your attacks like bleeds stagger bonuses etc etc or give you damage bonuses and stuff like that and the third tier will be the main tier when you get to level 10 and these will give you like say for instance the aoe radius goes up and the outgoing damage goes up by 50 percent you want to be able to pick what ones work best for your playstyle. now you can get any build in the game on youtube or written on any of the websites and you can copy paste that build and it may not work for you i do urge you to go and try and build a character yourself and not worry too much about what the meta is get used to some of the skills get used to skills that you're going to enjoy and get used to a build that you're going to enjoy that will work for you. I've never been a, I've never been a fan of copy paste in meta builds, mainly because you have to sort of learn how to play the character at the end when you're doing the end game content rather than sort of leveling up through and testing different skills yourself. It's definitely personally a better way for me to learn how to play my character is just to do builds and try different builds myself and work on those things do a lot of theory crafting etc that's what i really like to do in mmos myself but you can go onto a youtube guide you can go onto a written guide and find out some of the better skills and some of the builds that people have learned to play themselves there is that option now when actually wanting to select the tripod you just left click on what ones you want we're just gonna pick some random ones here and then you're gonna want to click on save and that will save that in there now again if you want to reset you just click the button down here and it resets all of them so if you have a multiple skills leveled up say we've got some over here to four you can just click on reset 
After you click save, you can click on reset and you can go back down to zero across the board. Now there is this option down here called recommended. Now this will give you recommended sets. So if you don't really know or understand what a build is or what tripods you want to use, you can use this inbuilt system which will tell you which ones and all you have to really do is just click on there and click apply optional skill. Now when you've applied the optional skill, which is based on the whatever content you're doing, you can actually click across Guardian Raid, Chaos Dungeons, Abyssal Dungeons, specific Abyssal Dungeons, because they all have different mechanics, they all have different things that are going on. And it does give you a recommended skill across the board for this type of content. And there's many drop downs that you can pick over here, raid level one, two, three or four. And it's going to show you what skills are recommended to put on your bar for each of these actual bits of content. Now, when you have clicked on it, it will actually go into here and it will be saved as this. And it will give you all three of the tripods that it has suggested for you or recommended for you. And it will stick the rune in there. Now, the runes sort of add like uh, different bonuses. They take away casting time. They'll add stagger damage. They'll add damage to an attack. It will sort of certain runes will be much better with certain skills. And it will also place those in there as well. Now, you can only use one per actual skill you're using. So you can't like have iron wall on every one of your skills. I wish that was a thing, but it's not something you can do. It's only one per. Now, on the top of the bar, you have the presets, which you can change over. And you'll be able to save different presets depending on what content you have. And if you want to unlock more, it costs the blue crystals. And you just click on OK and it'll unlock it. I need to unlock these anyway. So it's good to have extra preset slots in there. So you can have one for Guardian Raids, one for PvP, one for just randomly filling, like doing Chaos Dungeons, or just a, a separate one that has just for completing islands, doing that sort of thing. Maybe you need something that needs more single target damage, or you need more AoE, like in the Chaos Dungeons, for example then you can have different actual settings and presets done over here. So now you know how to actually apply what tripods you want to use on your skills. I'll give you a few little recommendations, a few tips on what you should decide during the leveling process or when you're doing some of the different group content, especially if you want to sort of work on your own build and not copy paste someone else's build that they've worked on previously. If you want to go through the process of actually creating your own character, which I personally love to do, then this is definitely something that will help you out. Now, one thing a lot of people says when it comes to actually building your character, you're going to want to favor tripods that actually give you a percentage boost to statistic. For instance, something like Law of the Jungle. Now, this will give damage to lesser and normal foes, which is your standard wave of foes, and you'll get 200% extra damage with this actually available on here when you have that clicked on and you have that saved, you'll do 200% more damage. These will help and there's ones, the skills that will have single target, skills that will have AOE or skills that will just have straight up damage percentages for certain types. You have the challenge stuff, which is your bosses. So you do more damage in guardian raids if you go more towards that sort of thing. Now, if you have skills that have a massively long now, if you have skills that have a massively long cooldown, you will want to favor. For the most part, me personally, this is my opinion, you're going to want to lower that cooldown so you can maximize the amount of times you're using it because there's a lot of abilities in the game where the bosses will stagger you. They might stop you when you're building up on an attack and then you have to wait another 24 seconds. And any couple of seconds that you could use on the cooldown will actually help you in the long run. Now, another thing that you'll see when you're actually doing things like guardian bosses or any sort of raids or dungeon bosses, they will have weaknesses to certain actual elements. Now, there will be tripods available that you can use to change the element of an attack. Now, if you actually if, if you go against some of the guardian bosses and they're weak to fire, then you're going to want to use uh, abilities that change the element of the attack to fire. There's lightning, etc, etc. You can change a lot depending on what class you are. Some classes have less than others, but they all should have at least one skill available to change the element to something that will help you in the raids or killing bosses. Now, when it comes to the presets themselves, I would recommend a solo PVE build for doing going around doing a sort of your islands, etc. Standard solo PVE content. I would have a group pve build for when you're doing the guardian stuff and a pvp build as standard so a solo a group and a pvp build these are your three main builds now you if you have all of these unlocked you can have an aoe focused pve build a single target focused pve build so when you're actually clearing stuff on the way to a boss you can change it even in the abyssal raids when you get to the area that has the little clock timer on it you can go in there and change your builds and you can change them whenever you like to and you can up and down skills whenever you fancy it. Having the presets will save you a lot of time in the future. So work on those presets at the start, especially when you hit level 50. Now, the only places that you cannot 
change your actual tripods themselves is inside of guardian raids especially when you're in the middle of fighting a boss you can in arenas you can't change in the tower of infinity the cube and secret dungeons are the only places you can't trade change your tripods at any time everywhere else in the game you can change it and it's not an issue now if you're one of those classes that have a movement skill something that makes you maybe able to move around the map faster there's uh, a tripod like excellent mobility which will speed up and allow you to move further and move faster across maps i don't have that luxury as a gun lancer it's kind of annoying i walk around really slowly and sometimes i forget and press the space bar and jump back and waste more time but there are classes like the paladin who has the charge ability which actually has the extra mobility that you can go a lot further and a lot faster. So that's something else that you might want to look into when building or looking at your tripods. Now, this was a very basic guide into tripods themselves, something for beginners. If, you, if you're more of a sort of intermediate level player or you've been playing this game longer, I will be doing more specific guides and less sort of broad guides that will be able to look deeper into certain aspects of the game so make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it or find it useful remember to subscribe for more lost art content coming in the future and we do have a patreon in description if you'd like to support myself and the channel i want to thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chat scams